let's have a look at my indoor garden and let's have a tour of it uh, I have kept up uh, some of the plants uh, in my window still in the bedroom and uh, so the first one you could see is uh, aloe vera see how uh, nicely it's growing in this light and uh, you could see the new bushes coming out of it uh, it's a three months old plant from the store and uh, it's nicely growing and uh, this is a variety of succulents and uh, even here you could see uh, new shoots coming out of it and uh, to your surprise uh, this plant is very resilient and this is three years old I got this plant when I uh, entered this house and uh, it is not dying and it is growing very nicely and uh, during winter it will be very dormant and uh, but it uh, it doesn't die out uh, in winter but whereas uh, aloe vera dies out in winter so I have to get uh, a new plant every summer uh, it needs a bright light but uh, this variety of succulent you can keep uh, anywhere you want and uh, once in five days or two days you can keep it in sunlight um, I used to change my plants the location of plants and this is a bamboo shoot uh, I have cut this bamboo shoot and kept and you could see the roots out of it see how many root it has come and uh, even you could see some new shoots out of it see so beautiful shoot seeing a shooting plant of our own is really a happiest thing in our life like giving a birth to a baby and uh, this is a normal pathos we call it as a money plant and uh, the most beautiful indoor plant and I love this, this plant a lot so now let's uh, go into the living when you entered my living room you could see a, a big TV stand and I love this TV stand only because I kept so many plants over it and uh, I have a big uh, two tube lights and this tube light I use mostly for these growth of the plants so these are some of the plants which uh, take the artificial light from the tube light also for their growth so in winter these plants like bamboo pathos uh, really use the tube lights light for their growth and see how let's have a close look of the bamboo shoots so how beautiful these shoots are so greenish and uh, in summer actually they the lighting here is good and uh, you could see the light from my uh, patio and th these are my uh, garden plants outdoor garden plants and uh, you could see pathos hanging pathos basket uh, this is actually not inside this is outside my garden and this will come uh, in inside during my winter season and uh, here is such a beautiful anthurium and this is an orange variety of an anthurium and uh, I'm using the bright light of my uh, patio glass door and I have kept this plant and this is growing very nicely see so so how beautiful new shoots are coming from it so beautiful and see let's have a close look of the pathos here this is a glass vase I got in Ikea and I love this glass vase for my pathos and uh, when you have a close look I just uh, 15 days before I cut the cut the, uh, this plant half of it and uh, now I could see some new two shoots coming out of it so nice to see our plants growing 
and this is a very beautiful bamboo lively plant and uh, this is also a resilient plant you should not uh, water it often so water just uh, one week to 15 days once when the outer soil is dry and this plant will stay with you for years together and this is a uh, two year old plant now comes the beautiful orchard in my kitchen stand so how sweet this is enough orchard yellow color orchard but it looks really white in that see this orchard is really beautiful and these are the plants which makes my living room and bedroom so beautiful and lively and uh, and one thing I have to say about these plants is these plants are really of medicinal value. These plants clear the uh, carbon dioxide and uh, clear the toxins. So I choose those plants which clear the toxins in our home and uh, it is really useful and it gives more oxygen to the environment and that's the reason why my house is always lively even though no one is there. So lovely environment. Thank you. Thank you very much.